Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another wonderful fun-filled week of American Literature 3. Uh, this week we've got lots of reading to do, I know we're all so very excited about that. Woohoo! So we get to kick it off with a little bit of Sherman Alexie. We're going to be spending more time with him later on in the quarter, uh, but I want to give you a little taste because some of his ideas kind of match the themes for this week. Um, so he's got a great poem called Pawn Shop um, that you'll be reading, nice and short. And then some excerpts from Thompson's work, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. You'll find that on page 1600 in your book. That's how big our book is. It has over 1600 pages. Isn't that crazy? There's so much writing since 1914. This is just a tiny, tiny excerpt of the writing that we have available to us. So yay for American literature and how uh, productive its writers have been. Uh, you'll be reading Lowell's Skunk Hour, which is very fun. Uh, and then Wednesday, you get to read a little bit from Rich and Collins, um, and I'll be recording a lecture on Adrian Rich um, on Wednesday as well, so you'll have that to help you out. Uh, then we're going to be reading a little bit of Lee, This Room and Everything in It, and then O'Brien's The Things They Carried, just an excerpt from that because uh, it's a whole book. And I'll be doing a recorded lecture on O'Brien as well, just because that's a very... Uh, pivotal kind of piece. Um, and so if we take a look at the things they carried, you'll see that I've got a PDF for you here. Our uh, book no longer has Tim O'Brien in it, which is uh, ridiculous. So uh, you'll be reading this piece. It is about war, um, which seems to fit a lot of the authors we've read so far. We know that uh, these authors are living through World War One and World War Two and the Vietnam era. Ooh, and just so many different things, uh, and lots of war, and lots of people killing each other. So, of course, this is going to inspire those who are contributing to the literary canon. Uh, so you'll see that I've just got the first chapter here for you. So 14 pages of PDF. The text is pretty large, and it's actually um, a pretty quick read. Um, it, it might feel like a lot because there's 14 pages there, but it's going to go pretty quickly for you. So... Um, Keep that in mind as you're planning your time. Uh, there are some interesting uh, references here. As you read through, uh, you'll see that they reference uh, different literary figures. They'll reference different historical moments as well. So as you're reading through a text, if you ever find that you're not sure what they're talking about, that's the wonderful thing about computers, right? So if you're like, who the hell is Chaucer? And just go ahead and copy that bad boy, right? And look it up in Google, be like, oh, Jeffrey Chaucer, that sounds exciting. And it is exciting because he was an author before William Shakespeare, uh, who wrote a whole bunch of things most well known for a group of writings called the Canterbury Tales, um, which are very difficult to read in their original writing because it is in Old English, kind of Old Middle English, uh, but also very hilarious and uh, super raunchy. So really good things there. So do make sure that you're getting those historical and literary references. Virginia Woolf, fabulous female poet. Go ahead and pop her into the old interwebs and find out things about her as well. She had a lot of great writing she did um, and was a little bit obsessed with death and had a whole bunch of mental breakdowns, which kind of ties into our ideas from Tim O'Brien. So really good to make sure that you're understanding who these characters are talking about and what kind of references they're making. Uh, so do make sure to, to utilize Google, because it's good. Uh, and then we will be having a Things They Carried quiz uh, later on this week. So lots of good things coming our way, lots of reading, just a wide variety this week um, as we delve into this postmodernism uh, movement, which is very exciting. So be on the lookout for some recorded lectures later this week. Wednesday, we'll be talking about Adrian Reach, and then on Thursday, we'll be talking about uh, Tim O'Brien and his idea. So stay tuned, should be fun, uh, and continue on with the excellent work you're doing. Stay up with the readings, and do remember all these readings will appear on our final exam for the quarter, so good to be familiar with them. All right, guys, as always, reach out if you have any questions. Have a great week, enjoy the readings, and I'll talk to you soon.